Well everyone, there's a new rumor about the iPhone SE 4th generation that makes me so happy to see because it looks like that the iPhone SE 4 is actually probably going to end up coming out probably not in 2024, but maybe 2025, but at least we are getting another iPhone SE potentially. So as of right now, the SE lineup, very weird. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the way Apple has been addressing this specific lineup, and hopefully it does end up getting improved or something like that in the future. But with the iPhone SE 4, it looks like the, you know, the specific iPhone is starting to get suppliers bidding on some of the parts. So this is really important because this is the first initial phases of how Apple ends up actually producing these types of products. So potentially, you know, there's a bidding phase that happens. And after Apple finds the best bidder who basically will go ahead and, you know, give them the cheapest panels and cheapest products, well, then we'll go ahead and go with them. And then sooner than later, the device will actually be launched and then they'll go ahead and, you know, actually start selling them. So with the SE4, it looks like the displays are starting to go ahead and start getting bid on. Now, most potentially, I guess from what these rumors are, you know, kind of suggesting, BOE could potentially be the panel provider for these specific panels. I'm hoping it's, you know, Samsung, I think makes really good panels, but they are not about to make one of those expensive panels for this cheap phone. They are going to find the cheapest panel they can make at good quality for the highest you know sales numbers and make that iphone last as long as possible i'm imagining that the iphone se4 is going to be there for many, for more than like four years probably i'd imagine it's going to be something like the iphone se1 apple kind of had like back-to-back -back iphone se's with the se2 and the se3 and the 3 is already going to be probably three years old by the time the se4 comes out so if it ends up being something even along those lines well then what's going to happen with the se4 I'm imagining this iPhone's going to last probably four years, and I think that's probably what's going to end up happening. It's going to be something along those lines. Now, with the SE4, it's going to come into the same type of body as the iPhone 14, which is a new type of rumor. That's even crazier. Before it was the iPhone 12. Now it's looking to be, I guess, from what you know, Mac rumors is suggesting, it could be the iPhone 14 type of design, which that is also going to be insane. Because that means with the iPhone SE 4, it could potentially be coming out around the time after where the iPhone, you know, for the most part, could potentially be removing the hole punch display or the dynamic island and just be a, you know, standard panel all throughout. That could be another big thing that ends up happening here too. Again, we don't know for a fact, but that could be another thing that's actually a really cool thing to kind of think about. So in terms of that, I will definitely tell you, I'm very happy with the iPhone SE 4, the rumors and everything that have been coming out. I'm just very curious to see what's going to end up happening with the release date. When the specific you know device is actually going to be delivered, I'll be very, very curious. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.